It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a can from Rock Leopard Brewing Company and it's a can of their distant cousin of a Moo Moo Cat. It's a 6.2% ABV, described as a New World West Coast style IPA or a modern day classic West Coast IPA. Nice wrap on it, I really like the wrap. Uh, really funky, really lovely to look at. They're based in Welling in London, UK. 440 can. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Did I mention it was 6.2% ABV? Might have done. Can't remember my own intro. Here we go. This looks nice. Three finger white head. Light ish. Yeah, it's a, it's a light, very light coloured beer. Um, almost straw coloured with a nice haze to it. Good levels of carbonation. A three finger white head. It looks good. Nice and hazy, as you would imagine. Let's get the aroma. Oh, that smells great. Lovely, lovely, big, kind of tropical fruit aromas coming through. Grapefruit, citrus, mango, passion fruit, light, crisp, malt aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely, prickly, spiky, nettly. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a lovely, lovely beer. Yeah, prickly, prickly and nettly and super fresh, super fresh beer. Light, airy, refreshing. That's lovely. Light, kind of light, Biscuit malt flavours to begin with goes over lovely on the back end with all that kind of or the middle The middle's really prominent On the back end West Coast style IPA. It's got this um, Yeah, really nettily kind of pilsner like finish on the back end, but really More than a much more than a pilsner like out there kind of hopped up massively kind of Pilsner kind of hops on the packing, like your Saz. Saz hops and spicy. Mm. That's lovely. Really nice. I want to get the rest of the beer in just to. As I mentioned, or I'm about to mention. It's really warm here in the UK. We had a massively warm, humid summer. Uh, I'm not going to bore you too much with it, but this beer is just absolutely terrific in terms of refreshment. It really is, and it's got lots of flavour to kind of mash, ma lots of flavour really to kind of match with that with that lovely humidity and that lovely flavour. And and yeah, I'm not going to delete that. I'm going to leave it in. Let you all guys have a bit of a laugh, yeah. I think it's the heat. The heat's getting to me. Hmm. Pineapple, nettle, peppery spice. All in the middle to the back end. Lovely rampant bitterness. I reckon this is about 60 to 70 IBUs. Right. Uh, it's been brewed with Mosaic, Centennial, Columbus and Azaka. Yeast is US05. Uh, they've used Pilsner malt. I thought there was something in there that's Pilsner like and flaked oats. Uh, so they say what's this all about? Well nobody knows or nobody is talking. Uh, what they sometimes talk about though is a distant cousin of the legendary Moo Moo Cat. Apparently they even had something to do with the invention of beer, 
We would love to know more and hope this modern day classic West Coast IPA will shed some light. What have you heard? Yeah, it's really good. It's really, really good. I've, I've really enjoyed this. I just like the fact this airy and light and refreshing and massively drinkable, but with lots of flavor. I like that enough to give it a stone the crows, nine out of 10. So nine out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.